Let's talk about the letters G, H. Yeah, they are very confusing because sometimes they are silent like in taut or high. Sometimes they are pronounced with a hard G, G, as in ghost or ghetto. And other times they have an F sound like in enough or cough. But why is it like this? Go ahead, ask me. Good question. Why do we have this stupid GH in words like cough, ghost, or eight? Well, let me tell you. Well, in Old English, the GH was used for a sound that doesn't exist in English anymore. But it definitely does exist in other languages, like French, German, Spanish, or Arabic. It's the back of the throat fricative, <sighs> like in blech. So, about 500 years ago, give or take 100 years, there was no letter to represent this <sighs> sound. So they wrote it as GH, but it started changing. In some words, it changed to an F sound, and in others, it simply disappeared. And sometimes we took words from Italian like spaghetti or ghetto, and we just maintained the Italian GH spelling. So now that we understand why it's there, let's practice pronouncing it correctly. First, let's look at a group of past tense verbs that all rhyme. Repeat each one after me. Caught. Taught. Thought. Brought. Bought. Thought. Sought. Good. Now say them with me. Caught. Taught. Thought, brought, bought, thought, sought. Good. Now faster. Caught, taught, thought, brought, bought, thought, sought. Good. And now super fast. Caught, taught, thought, brought, bought, thought, sought. Woo! <laughs> nice job. Okay, let's look at another group, the I G H T. So repeat after me. Fight, light, night, right, sight, flight, might, bright. Okay, now say them with me. Light, night, right, sight, flight, might, bright. And now faster. Light, night, right, sight, flight, might, bright. Great job. All right, now let's look at other words with silent GH. Hi. Yeah, it sounds exactly like hi. So repeat, how high can you jump? Me? Not very high. The next one is way. It sounds exactly like W-A-Y, like this way or that way. How much do you weigh? Oh, maybe that's an embarrassing question. Me, I weigh uh, about 81 kilograms right now. Okay, now let's look at the words that give people the most difficulty. Words that end in O-U-G-H. Now, there is no rule for when you pronounce it like an F and when it is silent. You just have to memorize the words. I am so sorry. So, let's look at the words and see if you already know how to pronounce them correctly. This one? Though. 
dough, rough, tough, enough. Thorough, cough, through. Good job. Okay, now try to read these three sentences. First you, then me, then we will do it together. Okay, my turn. Even though pronunciation is tough, if you are thorough, you can improve enough. Just try not to cough when things get rough. Okay, now let's say it together. Here we go. Even though pronunciation is tough, if you are thorough, you can improve enough. Just try not to cough when things get rough. Okay, great job. Well, I hope this video helped you with this oh so strange GH in English. And remember, every day you are getting better and better. Hey, whoa, <laughs> too close. Well, thank you for watching my video, and if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. Or is it subscribing and liking? I, I can never remember, but you are clever. You can figure it out. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you here at Chameleon English. Bye-bye.